Hello, this is the demo for the venue booking application. This page that you can see is the home page where venue owners can register and log in. I've created another home page for customers to register so that they can find and book venues. Let's go ahead and create an owner account. I'll call it owner demo. If I submit now, the client side validation will report an error. So let me register. Okay, so it says that the account has been created. And let's go back and log in. Okay, so this is the owner dashboard for owner demo. So it has a venues tab, requests, events today. Since I just created the account, it doesn't have any data. So let's go ahead and add a venue. Okay, so I've entered the details. So I'm adding a venue named Spark Studio. I've entered the address, city, etc. So let me submit it. It took a few seconds and now as you can see the venue has been added. So if I click on this, it shows the details that I entered. So I can check the images and here there's a calendar on which if I click on any day, it shows me already booked events for that day. But since I just created, there are uh, no bookings. So uh, to demonstrate the booking part, let me uh, log in as a customer, okay? I've already created account. So here it shows all the venues belonging to all the owners. It also has the one that we just added. So I can also filter based on location, right? Okay, so this one. So to book this venue, I'll have to fill this form. So I've filled in the details. I'm just booking this recording studio for a podcast recording on 30th from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. So let me book the slot. And it says that it was successful. So if I go back in here and go to show bookings, and refresh it, sorry. It'll uh, show this booking on top and says that it's pending approval. So if I go here and check the request, it shows the request that the customer just made. And if, if I click on approve, um, it gets approved, yeah. So if I come back here, and check the status, it says that it was approved. So this one more thing uh, regarding deleting bookings for events that have already completed. So here I just have one. So let me sign out from this and log in to a different account where I have more bookings. So here in the request page, you can see that these two are for 30th and 31st July, but today is 29th and this one was for 25th July. So it's already completed. So if I click on the delete icon, it deletes the booking object from the database as well as from my view. And here's the events today tab to show events for today, but since there are no bookings for 29th, it's empty. And there's a statistics tab. So this doesn't really implement anything. I haven't done it yet. So I just call it future work. Yeah, thank you.